Hi guys, so we've discussed the seven chakras. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to heal properly the seven chakras. If you've not listened to the intro to the seven chakras video, go and listen to it. And if you happen to have deeper questions regarding our three-dimensional existence in the seven chakras i actually made a video called the seven chakras and how it relates to the black community when i listened to that video i realized it concerns more than the black community it's just that the black community is affected deeper with the issues that are related to that video so no matter who you are listen to that and listen with, with an open mind and an open heart <clears throat> excuse me so that um you can understand the information that's being related um i would only hope that my listeners are true spiritual beings not vampires i don't mean to say that but youtube has a collection of trolls and all this other negativity we don't need it here I would hope that my listeners are true enlightened beings that are on this path that we are most of us are on where we're trying to reconnect to ourselves it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what you do i when i when i make these videos i think of the rainbow we're a variety of beings i'm gonna do a brief speech I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes. Okay. It's very personal. So. <clears throat> there is a part of me that speaks to me and tells me you're greater than this. You're greater than the story that's being told through you. You're greater than the three-dimensional painful experience that you've had. You're greater than... The circumstances, the tribulations, the pains and suffering that you've experienced. You have to understand how great you are. These are the people I speak to. You're greater than this. Let us not let the mundaneness of society bring us down or separate us from who we are. Let us connect. Let us know and realize that we know. Let us see and understand that we see. Let us speak and understand that our words will be heard. Let us drive and let our will be seen in action. Let us love. Let us experience love in a sensual manner that is deeply connected. And let us survive and thrive. We're so much bigger than everything that's going on around us that sometimes we question ourselves and i'm speaking to you who question yourself who who has doubt who man, the visuals i'm getting right now are deep you know those of you who are on that bathroom floor crying not understanding what am i going through you who have that one dog that's your best friend or these children that are giving you headaches every day or this husband who won't love you, or this boyfriend who cheats on you, but you know, why I'm experiencing this for a reason, but you still question, why am I experiencing this? It's a very contradictory world that we are in, so be patient. And I tell myself this, understand we get through this. Understand the end is greater than the process. <laughs> so we're gonna dive right into this, um, the seven chakra healing. <clears throat> I won't get into the chakras because I've already discussed them in a previous video. I do tend to forget to link, but I will do my best to link that video so you guys can watch it. But this is for those who have awareness and knowledge of the fact that we have centers of energy. We are energy and therefore there are centers of energy within our bodies. We're going to focus on the seven. We're going to start at the first. All right. The first chakra is the base chakra. It resonates with the color red, the color of action, the color of survival. 
Now the issues that deal with this chakra are weight issues. And with weight issues come constipation and hemorrhoids. Buyer beware, this gets detailed. So, okay. Knee issues, sexuality issues, lust issues, obsession issues. If you can't survive, you attach to something that can survive and therefore you fight to survive. Now, the question would be, how do I heal this? The answer would be, understand, we are, metaf we are metaphysical beings having a physical experience. We are energy in a body. We are light in a source. Okay? I have this mantra. It says, have, I have the right to be here. Know you have the right to be here. How do you know you have the right to be here? The first thing you should do is connect with the earth and nature. Because the first chakra is connected to earth and nature. I have the right to be here. You did not put me here. I just had the right to be here and therefore here I am. Physically, how do we solve this chakra? You resolve the chakra physically through eating foods that are high in protein, meats, green vegetables that are high in protein. All right, I'm eating the right vegetables and food. How do I continue to heal the chakra? There is this yoga called the Hatha Yoga. That is the yoga that is connected to the first chakra. You practice that. And guys, when you're doing your chakra healing, do not move on to another chakra until you feel you're grounded in whatever chakra you're working on. And I use the word grounded because the first chakra deals with grounding, the foundation of connecting with your physical vessel, your body, and understanding, letting your body tell you, we have the right to be here. Letting your body take up space and time. You will use the incense of cedar to cleanse your physical environment. When you're meditating, you will use the stones of ruby, garnet, bloodstone, or carnelian. The aromatherapy that you will use will be cedarwood, patchouli, or myrrh. And you will use the yoga poses of warrior, triangle, or eagle. Each of these poses firmly places your feet on the ground and helps your body. Because in this chakra, we're dealing with the body. So we're helping the body, no matter what it's going through, connect with the physical world to say, I have the right to be here. You're not going to stop me from being here. And by healing this first chakra, you will heal every chakra going up. We'll move on to the second chakra. Briefly, the second chakra deals with sensuality, emotions, sexuality, creativity. Now this chakra, when it is in balance, it gives us the feeling of impotence. We have urinary and bladder and kidney infections. We have stiff lower back issues. We have relationship issues. We deal with violence and addiction. You would ask, how do I heal the chakra? Now, if remember I just said, do not jump around. Don't think, oh my God, I took a test online and it said that my third, second, fifth, and seventh chakra are balanced. So I only need, no, 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 no. Start from the ground up. You don't know your first chakra is balanced until you're able to go out into this world and just face it. I'm whatever you are, and I'm okay with that. Deal with it. There's an attitude that comes with the first chakra that, oh Lord. Seriously, there's an attitude that comes with the first chakra that is like no other. And when we enter the second chakra, we're literally connecting with our feelings and emotions. 
in my video with the the video that I did dealing with the seven chakras in the black community in that video I stated how when you start healing the, seven, the second chakra be ready to cry this chakra is dealing with your memories your genetic metaphysical memories now you're going to experience and see some very personal things that you would not have ex expected to see or experience. <laughs> this chakra will take you for a joy ride. I've been on that ride for a very long time and I'm healing from that ride. And look guys, I will be very personal right now. I've never met my maternal grandmother and when I first entered that chakra, when I was pregnant with my son, I met her and she gave me so much wisdom and knowledge. And I cried for, I think it was like four to five years. There were days I was at work because I was working as an accountant for those periods of time that I had to go in the bathroom and lock myself for a few minutes just to like release that energy there. When you start digging, like, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to back up for a minute. I personally feel there is a healing process that we are all going through. It's a humanitarian, it's a physical, earthling healing process that we are all going through that is <laughs> it's going to go from personal to interpersonal. Is gonna go from micro to macro <laughs> I personally believe as the planet and the solar system heal themselves we as humanity heal ourselves and the one thing that's been harming us in humanity in that interrelationship that we have as being human has been race the race of the people of the planet have been harming ourselves right in this chakra you are face to face with those details depending on who you are and a lot of the times when we speak of race people start to believe that we're only speaking black white believe you me in my life I realized every race has had an issue has had a problem that they've had to reconcile or recognize this chakra connects you with the feelings and emotions dealing with those experiences you begin healing this chakra with drinking water. You drink as much water as you can per day. And in the beginning, it won't be fair to you because you are like, if you're broken as I once was, as I am leaving that space of brokenness as I speak right now, you're used to diminishing those painful experiences and memories with something be it alcohol be it some form of drug be it anger exercise whatever it is you're used to filling that void with something and in this chakra you can continue to fill that void with positive changes such as exercise and all that good stuff but you will have to add water to your daily routine water cleanses the emotions Water cleanses the bladder. Water cleanses the kidneys. Water cleanses the pancreas. Water cleanses the stomach, the mind, the heart. As you drink your water and you continue doing the same practices in your first chakra, you add on to your yoga, your yoga practices, the tantra pose. You burn gardenia incense. You meditate with the moonstone and the cornelian. You use sandalwood, jasmine, rose oil, yangling, or champaka as your aromatherapy oils. You practice the yoga poses of the twisting triangle, the extended lateral angle pose, or the pose of Shiva. My God, in this chakra, we are going to war. This is the chakra of the Scorpio and the Aries. This is the chakra of Mars. In this chakra, it's 
people play with this chakra but th this is literally the chakra of war you're going to war with yourself do not begin practices on this chakra if you're not ready to dedicate a very large amount whatever amount of time it takes for you to heal and each person is different each person has been through different experiences whatever it takes for you to heal you're going to need it because you're literally arming yourself with recognizing your issues be it relationships that have failed my back just hurt my lower back just hurts you you have violent tendencies when things don't go your way you're addicted to whatever you continuously feel impotent or you're having urinary or bladder or kidney or any form of organic or physical issue you're drinking your water crying your tears because you're connected to your emotions and your feelings well guess what you have just woken up mars within you and mars is like i hope you're ready because we are going to war for you and if you were literally taking all of this as a joke like ha 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 i was not you're going to set yourself up for failure and you're going to be even deeper than you were before you started the cleansing process of the chakra you have to as you listen to my videos, understand there is not an ounce of me that is joking. I don't give this information for joking reasons. You better be ready to fight for yourself. And there will be those times where you look crazy out in these physical and astral streets. People will question, what are you going through? And you have to be ready to just shut your lips and let them witness the change and the progress the progress that is you you have nothing to prove remember we were born alone we die alone it isn't the in-between where we spend this time together where we think oh my brother or my sister or my mother or my father or my friend my best friend all these people are a part of me when really they're not this work the spiritual work is a single spirit work you're working for yourself you're healing yourself that is something you have to understand now, as we go into the third chakra that is the chakra of the will the drive the color yellow you're dealing with ulcers diabetes hypoglycemia digestive issues power issues fearful issues anxiety being an introvert and the mantra of the second chakra which i'm going to state now because i didn't state before is i feel i feel the mantra of the second of the third chakra i'm sorry is i can you're feeding your will and your drive i can you understand that your opinions matter and you balance yourself with understanding so that you can live in your personal power and not in greed how do you physically feed this third chakra you feed this third chakra through vegetables that have starch potatoes sweet potatoes wheat spaghetti you know anything with starch not too much just enough you practice the yoga pose of the cow pose the sitting spinal twist and the camel pose you burn the incense of dragon's blood sandalwood musk saffron cinnamon and ginger you use the stones of amber topaz yellow citron emerald and sapphire to balance sapphire balances this third chakra and you use aromatherapy oils that are clary sage juniper or geranium now this is the chakra of your will this is your chakra of action this is your Aryan chakra this is a chakra that deals with that part of mars that takes action you better be ready because when this chakra is alive and balanced and well all those dreams and aspirations that you've always had that you always question yourself why can't i get this done well we're about to get it done now it's on but it takes work i plan to make this short so i'm going to move on to the fourth chakra because we're almost 20 minutes in
The fourth chakra deals with our universal love. It is the bridge that connects our lower chakras to our higher chakras, our lower self to our higher self. This chakra, when it's imbalanced or blocked, you might have asthma, high blood pressure, heart disease, lung disease. You might have issues with passion. You might be battling and facing your inner child issues on a daily basis. And you might be faced with rejection. I remember the heart chakra deals with the ether of life, air. The first thing you do to heal the chakra is acknowledge yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and whoever you are, acknowledge yourself. No, I matter. Look, this chakra, this is personal. Most of this stuff is personal. I matter, okay? Um, brief story, as a child, <laughs> I can smile now because I've dealt with I can smile now because I've dealt with such issues, but um, every time I make a chakra video and I get to the heart chakra and I'm like, how do you heal the heart chakra, the universal love chakra? And I'm like, look at yourself in the mirror and acknowledge yourself. I keep saying that for a specific, it's like I keep triggering myself just to finish the healing process. So um, <clears throat> in one of my videos, I talk about how even as a child, I knew I was highly spirited and I dealt with a lot of stuff that, you know, most people don't deal with because I, I was aware of it. And I remember that one time um, I was in that heart space and I looked in the mirror and the image looking back at me was like, I hate you. And I remember I was in this like controlled space and time and I grabbed a pair of scissors and I cut my hair. I cut the front bang part of my hair very short just to make a point and I remember in my third eye the image just kept telling me I hate you I hate who you are I hate how you look and I made a video regarding you know the seven chakras in the black community and how the demons or the block chakras affect us and it's not until I became an adult and that was a memory that stayed in my head it's not until I became an that I was like oh my god you were face to face with grief which is the demon of the seven of the fourth chakra grief something about my soul my spirit was just grieving me so much that it was like I hate you you should not be here and it was more of a um it was love translated in a very painful way and i share that because i keep saying in all my videos look yourself acknowledge yourself like you'll see a lot of people in the social media world or in the real world who they have to dress up they have to wear their makeup they have to wear those very uncomfortable high heels that give me foot cramps and leg cramps right they have to wear these things and we as the everyday people who just enjoy our sweats our sweatshirts and our flip-flops or our sneakers we ask why do you have to go through such measures to feel beautiful and it's that the grief of the heart chakras self-love is lacking not for everyone but for most of them like for real for most of them self-love is lacking and therefore they have to put on a show three-dimensional show to, to tell you the story of their importance so you can accept them because they've not yet accepted themselves the moment you accept yourself like I remember I said this in one of my videos when you accept your when you know who you are and you accept yourself you can go to a board meeting and sweat flip-flops and a sweatshirt um what's the young man's name mark zuckerberg has shown us that when you know who you are in this world you will show up in a, your favorite sweatshirt that probably smell musky and people will listen to you because you know who you are you've created your environment for who you are that is the fourth chakra we resolve this fourth chakra by first learning to love ourselves and in my personal humble opinion the first step to loving yourself is acknowledging your face I didn't mean to get loud. It's, it's acknowledging your face. 
that is that one part of our whole body that we use to communicate and express emotions to others. Your face. Acknowledge your face. As you do this physical practice of acknowledging your face with or without makeup if you're a woman, you then begin integrating more leafy greens into your diet. The broccolis, the spinach, the um, green beans, the um, string beans, more leaves into your diet. And you practice the bhakti yoga. And you burn incense that are scented in lavender, jasmine, yarrow, or marjoram just to calm those nerves of the lower chakras. And you use the stone of emerald, tourmaline, jade, rose quartz, and peridot when you're meditating. Now, the rose quartz is used to cleanse your heart and the peridot is used to activate your heart. Do not activate your heart if you have not cleansed your heart. And the pink topaz is used to calm the heart. Now, guys, <clears throat> the heart chakra. <laughs> Sometimes we think we are like, I'm balanced, I'm fine, until we dig. Remember I told you in the second chakra you're going to be crying? Well, in the fourth chakra you're going to be screaming. If you do not deal with the lower chakras and you jump into whatever chakra you feel like, I've done this, okay? In 2010, I was jumping around and it's 2020, 10 years later, and I'm still gravitating and healing each chakra now, one by one, okay? The fourth chakra will have you screaming because you didn't deal with the feelings and emotions of the second chakra. A secret is you can balance your will and your second and fourth chakra are still suffering and you will be crying and screaming like a baby. Why was I born? Who am I? Mm -hmm. Those are the questions of the second and fourth chakra. You will practice the yoga pose of the cobra, the head to knee forward bend and the fish pose. Now each and every one of these poses either open or crush the chest in to reopen it depending on who you are. You can look up these poses. I will do my best to put pictures up for the poses, but you can look them up. And you will use the aromatherapy oils of rose, melissa oil, or neroli oil. We're gonna go straight into our fifth chakra, which is our chakra of communication and expression. When this chakra is blocked, or you're having issues with the chakra, you have a stiff throat, a stiff neck, you get colds easily. You have thyroid issues, you have hearing problems, and you have issues with self-expression. You begin with sound by speaking. I speak and know I will be heard. That is you confirming to the mind, I'm going to speak and I know I will be heard. But that is you speaking and knowing you will be heard by the right ones. Do not put yourself in predicaments where you're speaking to people who you know do not care about what you have to say and then you question, why was it not heard? Well, I mean, you understand? Mm. We eat fruits to heal the chakra. We practice the yoga pose of the mantra yoga. We speak. The incense we burn are frankincense we use the stones of turquoise aquamarine celestite blue topaz to activate quartz to calm and turquoise to balance we practice the yoga poses of the bow pose the lion pose and the sitting forward bend pose we use the aroma oils of lavender chamomile rosemary thyme and sage we're off into the sixth chakra of your intuition. You're knowing, I see. <laughs> now the problems with this chakra are blindness, frequent headaches or migraines, nightmares, eye strains, blurred vision, trusting your inner self. We begin with the sound of I see and trust my intuition. I have a note here saying, 
practice candle meditation with this I see and trust my intuition. Close your eyes and repeat to yourself by candlelight. And for the, I have an actual um, video about candle rituals. I believe for the sixth chakra, the day, the color is blue, indigo blue. And the day would most likely be Monday or Saturday. I will link it down below the day that you should use your candles and the colors of candles that you should use. But I made videos regarding, regarding candle rituals. Now, you're going to consume foods that feed your soul, meaning continuing the vegetables, the fruits, the water. But when you eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you're going to create like, I want to say like a gumbo. You're going to create, you're going to create all of the implements of the lower chakras without the meat. Because in this chakra, most, okay, most people who have gone vegan are in their third eye space. They see. They understand that they're consuming flesh. They're understanding that they're consuming life forces. And they no longer want to consume such life forces because they see. So when you're in your sixth chakra, you don't want to consume meat. For that period where you're balancing, opening, calming your sixth chakra, you do not want to eat meat. You do not want to consume alcohol. You do not want to consume any types of drugs. No matter what you hear, you really want to stay calm. Because unless you're strong, <clears throat> here's another personal story. <laughs> I'm someone who I don't, I personally, I'm still trying to define and understand who I was before this life path. And I'm someone who's not really that um, influenced by three dimensional. Um, I'm trying to find words. It's not organics. It's not fabrics. It's um, nutrients, I guess you would say. Foods and drinks and, you know, other recreational activities of the third dimension. I'm not really that affected by it. But if you're not one of those people where if you're working with your third eye and you consume alcohol and you go on a tangent or you smoke marijuana and you go on a tangent, do not do that. Like, go through the process of cleansing yourself, which I'm going to make a video about that. Cleansing yourself. And I'm going to do, it's going to be a duo video. The first 30 minutes or the first half will be about why we go vegan. And then the second half will be about why we don't need to go vegan. Because we are different types of beings on this planet. Some of us don't need to go vegan to connect with the divine. And some people need to go vegan to connect with the divine. But... For this um, chakra, you're going to practice the yantra yoga. You're going to burn the incense of mugwort, star anise, acacia, and saffron. You're going to use the stones of lapis lazuli quartz. It could be clear quartz, um, amethyst, smoky quartz, or even the um, rose quartz if you're broken love-wise in this chakra. You're going to also use the stone of star sapphire. You will use diamonds to activate. Preferably the raw uncut diamond. You will use emerald or sapphire to calm and balance the sixth chakra. And you will also use lapis lazuli to balance the sixth chakra. The yoga pose you will use is the dog face down and the plow pose. And you will use the aromatherapy oils of frankincense and basil. We are officially in the seventh chakra. Now, I know who I'm talking to when I hit this these issues. The seventh chakras deal with um, depression, alienation, confusion, boredom, apathy, the inability to learn, inner wisdom, and the death of the body. I will repeat the first few. Depression, alienation, confusion, boredom, apathy, the inability to learn, loss of inner wisdom, and the death of the body. 
I said I know who I'm talking to because I know who I'm talking to when I hit this chakra. It is those of us who are fully aware. From chakra one through six, we're there. Then we reach the top and we're like, there's nobody here but me. See? Now we got to go back down to the fourth chakra of self-love. You see how they're connected? When you reach your seventh chakra, when you've been doing all your work and you reach your seventh chakra and you're bored, you're depressed, you feel alienated, you're confused. You can't connect with your inner wisdom. You need to come back down. You might need to come back down as low as the second chakra, but in my opinion, it's the fourth chakra. Because if you're not loving yourself, then when you get to the seventh connection with divination, all right, here's what happened. <clears throat> your third chakra is overused. Your, your solar plexus, your um, will and drive is overused. So it's exciting you. You're excited. You're running up that ladder, excited. You hit the fourth chakra and you don't even pay attention. You're just like, I got this. Boom. Running up to the fifth chakra. I know how to express myself. Boom. Running up to the sixth chakra. I see. I know. Boom. And then you get to the seventh chakra and you're like, wait, no, wait. There's no one here but me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There was never anyone there but you. The divination speaks down to you. But in this space, this is your own. It's as if, if you live in a neighborhood, this is your home. If you lived in a building, this is your condo. And the divine will come and speak to you as you need. But remember, this is a spiritual walk that we're on. This is, I think, um, the um, misinformation of the seven chakras that really throws people off. Because everyone's running to the seven chakra to talk to God and God is like what this is about you when I need to talk to you I'll find you but in the meantime like hi welcome you just purchased your first home which is your seven chakra decorate it enjoy it live in it that's the seven chakra and that leaves a lot of us feeling as if we you know what I just got the um intuitive say when you are not um, positively aligned with your seventh chakra, this is what creates the warrior. I need to go out and conquer on the metaphysical plane. This is what causes other beings to come and attack in the metaphysical plane because they don't understand that you literally just purchased your first beautiful property and the divination that you thought was going to be waiting for you there was you. But you didn't do the proper work in the second and fourth chakras. So therefore, you don't respect yourself. And now you're you're resenting all this work you've done. And now you have to go out and corrupt or attack and tear down the work that someone else is quietly, peacefully, calmly doing. So now we have these intergalactic mind wars, these star wars, these star treks. But when you're balancing that seventh chakra, you say to yourself, I know and understand that I am connected to the divine. I am connected to the divine through prayer, through mantras, and through meditation. There is no food to feed this chakra. You are fasting. You have no need for food when you're balanced. The yoga you practice in this chakra is meditation. You silently sit in your new beautifully designed home and you wait for the divine to come and give you the next move the incense that you burn is the lotus the stones that you use during meditation is the amethyst the diamond the blue sapphire or the ce celestite to activate the sugulite to calm The clear quartz and the amethyst to balance. You practice the yoga pose of the headstand, the crane, or the shoulder stand. And you burn the aromatherapy oils of yangling, rosewood, lime, blossom, and water lily. Now we've covered all seven chakras, all seven dimensions of man, of woman, of child. What are you going to do now? 
Are you just gonna pat yourself on the back and say, yeah, I listened to another chakra video, I have knowledge. Or are you just going to um, go back into your cave of the unknowing? Or are you going to rewind this video, take some notes, pull out those books, those stones, that instant package that you have, go for that run or that walk, stretch, drink some water, begin to look yourself in the mirror and go hey 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 haven't seen you in a while what's up you ready to do this work we got some work to do and i warn you now mind body and spirit a lot of people won't understand what we're going through because they're going through their own thing but you know what this is personal this is mine i'm going to do it and you're going to do it if you're one of those people that just like collecting information collecting energy i was one of them at one point this is not the video for you come back when you're ready to do the work there's a lot of vital information in this video that if you're not ready to do the work you're just absorbing information and energy that's going to drive you crazy because now your mind is like i want to go for that run i want to drink some water and eat some protein and eat some leafy greens and fruits and meditate. I want some of those stones. I want to have that experience. I want to sit and meditate and have the divine speak to me. You have to be ready. I promise to make this brief and it was short and simple. It's a simple guide. Understand the issues on each layer. Fix it. You will know when it's fixed and move on to the next one. But do not jump around. Do not start at the first chakra and go, well, my first chakra is fixed, so I know my second through third chakras are fixed. I'm going to go straight to the heart. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's one, three, five. Your first, your will, your expression is connected. And then it's two, four, six. Your emotions and sexuality and creativity, your universal love and your intuition are connected, which leads you to four and seven. Love connects us to the divine. Without love, we are connected to the divine's, what do you call those people? Um, counter. The, div the divine's opposer. And as loving and beautiful and amazing as the divine is, the divine's counter is the opposite. Not to scare anyone, but just be careful of what you're connected to. It's not easy out here. We're all doing our best. Be patient with yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself by, and I'm speaking to myself too when I say this, love yourself by disconnecting from social media for a few hours. Love yourself by just laying on the bed and just enjoying the sound of the wind blowing outside and quietness. Love yourself by thinking about all those great things you've always wanted to do that you have the time and space to do. Love yourself by working that position that makes you happy, not the position that brings you money and when you get home, you hate everything about yourself. Love yourself by going for a walk, enjoying some sunlight, some water. Love yourself by also having fun. With a balanced chakra system, you can go out and have ladies night and get plastered and still feel fine in the morning. You might think I'm crazy. I plan to make a video about this. Because this is you. What I think what the um the demons of the seven chakra feeds on is shame. Once you're ashamed of what you've done, then you're feeding every other demon of the seven chakras, which is the next video I'm going to do. So I I said I would make it brief under an hour. We are at 43 minutes. Guys, love you so much for listening do the work leave me messages of the progress of the work that you're doing subscribe share tell a friend we're in this together and take care of yourself <laughs> later